Shalom and welcome to our episode of Living Supernaturally where we learn, meditate and enjoy God's word together. We have been meditating on the series of Come which are the invitations of Jesus that we've read in scripture and we're looking at a few of them. Today's invitation that we want to look in at is Come and Drink. Let's read from scripture. John 7 verses 37 to 38 Jesus stood and cried out saying if anyone thirsts let him come to me and drink he who believes in me as the scripture has said out of his heart will flow rivers of living water throughout the bible we will find numerous verses where which shows us god's desire for us to drink of him as the living water. For example, in the scripture that we read, we see that God's, that God's desire for us to drink of him is so great that he actually stood up and cried out during a feast, issuing a call to the people to come and drink of him the living water. Now let's just look at a background of this verse. Jesus brings this invitation in Jerusalem during the Festival of Tabernacles. The Festival of Tabernacles spanned for around eight days. And the seven, all the seven days preceding the last day, there would be water that is drawn out from the pool of Siloam by a golden pitcher and was poured out at the altar. And this was done to remind people about God's faithfulness to the Israelites when they were thirsty in the wilderness. This backdrop is very crucial for us to understand why Jesus spoke these particular words and at this particular time. Jesus was claiming to be the real source of the streams of life. That's what he wanted his people to know. So what does this drink mean? It meant that anyone who wanted, anyone who was in need, anyone who was spiritually dry could come and take and fill those empty places in their lives. The Lord tells us that the rivers of living water represent the Holy Spirit that is given to us when we believe in Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Thus drink in this describes the process by which we open our hearts and our lives to the ministering of the Holy Spirit. The more we consciously allow the Spirit to touch our lives, the more we flow out from the innermost, our innermost being into the lives of others. The same living water is there for us today when we come to God. It it, it swirls over us, it surrounds us, it quenches us, it energizes us, it just gives us hope. So our response to the invitation is to drink of Jesus, is to allow the Holy Spirit to minister to us so from Him we could out, pour out His love onto others. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we respond to your invitation. We ask that we will be faithful to drink of the Holy Spirit, to drink from streams of living water, so that we will overflow with your power. We will overflow with your ministry into the lives of others. Thank you for inviting us over and over again. We want to be filled we want to be completely full with your streams of living water. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.